The white horse is the first seal. Then I saw the lamb open one of the seven seals. And I heard one of the four living creatures say with a loud voice like thunder, Come. I looked and there was a white horse. The horseman on it had a bow. A crown was given to him and he went out as a victor to conquer. Here we have poetic language that the Bible often uses. It says the horseman on it had a bow. A crown was given to him and he went out as a victor to conquer. When white Venus leaves the constellation of Sagittarius and comes down to skim the surface of the earth, you may experience a certain type of weather. If it is God's will, you may experience freezing rain that tears down power lines and snaps trees. You may experience heaps of snow, hail in various sizes, Or you could have blizzard-like conditions with freezing uh, wind gust. Here it says that the horseman was given a bow. So when white Venus is in the constellation of Sagittarius, she becomes the archer and she has a bow. This constellation and this wording here in Revelation chapter 6 is also equated with the Antichrist who comes in to conquer. Usually Venus would find herself in the constellation of Sagittarius every three and a half to four years, usually during the election cycle. No matter who is elected, this picture of the Antichrist conquers the people of God, his true people. They will neither help them nor will they leave them alone. The Antichrist always has God's people as his target.
this is Oregon. We can see how the ice has layered the electric lines and power lines and the trees. It says that more than 85,000 Oregon homes and businesses were affected by this storm. The icy roads downed trees and created hazardous conditions for traveling. All these things can happen when the white horse is over your area if it is the will of God. Please understand that because we are in the end times, we will see the wrath of God continuously through severe weather, through what we may call a natural disaster like a earthquake. So because of this, we know that it won't be long now before Christ makes his appearance. So please pray about your location. Remember that the northeast quadrant, although we will have our problems here as well, it will not be as bad as living west of the Mississippi River. and south of the state of Kentucky. Remember to stay at least 250 miles away from the east coast because of tsunamis. And that goes for all coasts. You shouldn't be near the coastline during these end of days.
try to have at least three weeks of food in your home for emergencies. Try to maintain at least half a tank of gas in your vehicle at all times. So just pretend that the halfway mark is actually E. And if you do that, you'll always have at least a half a tank of gas. Also consider using delivery services for your food and supplies to stay safe. Thank you.